Good day, everybody. Welcome again to this devotional. Praise God. Before using this devotional, I would advise that take time to worship God. And when you are through with worshiping, then you can begin this devotional. And as pause after each prayer point, take it. And when you are done with it, on pause and continue. Do that for every prayer point that will be, that'll be uh, given. And then at the end, I'll pray for you. Praise God. Today we are looking at part three of the topic, Unshakable Peace. In part one, we looked at the enemies of this peace. These are some of the factors that could hinder our peace. And when they are present in our lives, we know definitely peace is needed. Now, today we want to look at how to obtain and how to keep this unshakable peace. When I say unshakable peace, it's my way of describing what Bible calls the perfect peace of God that surpasses all human understanding that no one can comprehend because even in the midst of trials or tribulation, in the midst of problems, you are just calm and composed. You are undaunted, unshakable. That is the kind of peace I pray for you. That is the kind of peace I pray for myself in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Number one factor here is salvation and baptism of the Holy Spirit. I decided to add these two together as one point. When we are born again, the scripture tells us that we have peace with God. And not only do we have peace with God, we have the peace of God and peace with man. God can ensure this by his Holy Spirit. And once we are born again, sanctified, automatically we should be able to speak in tongues after the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Or if not, then we can keep working at our salvation and believe God for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And when the act of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, one well, of the evidences is speaking in tongues. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is, crafted in, joined to him by faith in him as Savior, is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, that is the previous moral and spiritual condition, have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Because spiritual awakening brings a new life. I've just read from the Amplified Bible version. So peace comes with new birth. Those sins, those scars, those previous unforgiveness and uh, abuses, all those great overpassings, all those pass away. And then you have a calm mind, pure, unshakable. That is peace of God coming to you. Romans 1 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace with God follows justification. So at the base of unshakable peace is the divine justification. And we all know that food, once you are born again, Holy Spirit comes upon you and it comes with the fruit and with the, with the gift. And part of the fruit of the Spirit is peace. Galatians 5.22, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. And it continues. So peace is part of the fruit of the Spirit. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, reading from the Passion's translation, You become my delicious feast, even when my enemies dare to fight. You anoint me with the fragrance of your Holy Spirit. You give me all I can drink of you until my heart overflows. So why would I fear the future? Number two is good knowledge and absolute dependence on Jesus, the word. How can we have good knowledge and absolute dependence on Jesus? I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do that. Number one today is habitual study of the word. John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In me, you may have perfect peace, which I refer to as unshakable peace. Perfect peace. In the world, you have tribulation and distress and suffering. Be, be courageous. Be confident. Be undaunted. Be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory abiding. That is the Amplified Bible translation. Psalm 119 verse 165a. Great peace have those who love your law. So if you love the law of God, which is the word of God, he said you have great peace. Hebrews 4, 12, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. 
the word of God, that is Jesus Christ himself, is sharper than any two-edged sword. When you have a good knowledge of the word, then that enhances your dependence on him. So the more the word you, you have in you, the more dependent you become on the, on the Lord Jesus Christ because the trust will be built. God's word is the embodiment of power that can enforce, enhance, and protect your peace. So, beloved, every day, every night, study the word of God. Peace is one of the blessings that you get from the word of God. Colossians 3, 15, and let the peace of God rule your heart. That is my prayer for you today. This new day and all the days of your life, I pray that the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding, that peace that is perfect, that peace that is unshakable, that peace that is undaunted, that peace will rule your heart always in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, I want us to go into prayers now and commit this new day into the hands of God and say, Lord God Almighty, we are believing you, Lord, that you take off today. This day is a lost doing. It is marvelous in our sight. And he that has given us this day is able to keep this day for us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Command every enemy of a peace, everything that will distract you, anything that will take this peace away from you. Let it be far from you, just as the east is far from the west, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Like I said, you can pause the video and pray with all your heart. And when you are done pray, praying, then you can you pause and continue again. The next prayer point, the next prayer point, we need to pray uh, Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall ab abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Pray, God, I need grace. I need the power, I need the strength, the ability, O God Almighty, to stay in your presence. This discipline to stay in your presence, in that secret place, uh, and abide under your shadow. Give me the grace, O God, to stay continually in your presence, uh, to love your presence like Mary did. Uh, Father, giving that grace to always be at your feet, learning from you, hearing from you, praying and communing with you. Let us ask for that grace in the name of Jesus. And the next prayer point I want you to take is verse 2. Pray, Lord, be my refuge and my fortress. Father, you are my refuge and my fortress. Jehovah Nisi, you are my banner. I pray this banner of peace be over me. In times of trouble, in times of tribulation, let your banner of peace cover me. So I will be unshakable. I will be undaunted in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I begin to pray that his banner, that mighty banner, that his refuge and his fortress be your portion. Begin to pray like right now, beloved, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let us pray Psalm 91, verse 3. Deliver me, deliver me, Lord, from every trap of the wicked, from every noisome pestilence today. Let me walk by in safety. Protect me, Lord. My feet will not take me to the wrong places. My feet will always go to the right places and I'll be at the right places at the right time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray, pray with all your heart in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, go ahead of me. Angels of God, go with me, go behind me, surround me and come round about me so I will not strike my foot against any stone or fall into any trap today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you are not born again, say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. You were crucified for my sins. Father, I dedicate my life into your hands. Take absolute control. I confess you as your, my Lord and Savior. Protect me. Guide me until you come to rapture your church. And may I be one of those that will be ready for your rapture in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for everyone that has prayed today and everyone that has heard your word. I pray, Lord, that you will minister to everyone. You strengthen them, O God. And every prayer point that has been taken, O God, we have answers from you. And these answers will not delay in the name of Jesus. Even today, we will walk and not faint. We will run and not be weary. We will not stumble. We will not fall in the name of Jesus. Let your peace rule our hearts always and at all times. May our feet not take us to the wrong places. May our feet take us to the right places of promotion and protection and breakthroughs in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's a glorious day. It's a wonderful day. Hallelujah. It is well with you, beloved. Don't forget, God loves you, and righteousness is also a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Goodbye.